Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out the Shipwrecked MC server. Um, this is an alpha server from what I can tell on the scoreboard, so please keep that in mind um, when talking about the server and everything because it's clearly still being worked on. Uh, one thing I found really cool when I joined the server, I didn't get this on video, but your scoreboard actually expanded and did like a cool like message thing that was really cool. So keep that up. I don't exactly know how you did that. I'm guessing it's Featherboard? It's not Featherboard. I don't exactly know. Maybe it's a custom plugin. Um, Commands restricted, so I can't really see your uh, plugins, but it may be custom, you may, I don't exactly know, um, but just keep working on it, because whatever you did there was really cool. Uh, one thing I would do, though, is add another white line to the bottom of it or something, just to make it even um, and nice, but your tab menu is also very nice, it's just small, easy, no big, like, text or anything, maybe put the player count in your, um... Uh, top of the screen, I think that may work out a little bit better. Um, but overall, I'm thinking this is sky block from what the uh, welcome message said. I would also organize the tools so your stone sword's kind of like the first and then it goes that, um, just so it's a little bit easier for everybody. Uh, you got NPCs here, very cool. Maybe make their text that they put in chat like colored. Um, so every NPC has a cool like colored type text or something rather than just the plain default white text that may look a little bit better. Um, Nice spawn point, very uniquely built. Uh, you got like the pirate ship and everything, which is really cool. I did take fall damage, so I would fix taking fall damage in hub. Uh, compass to PvP event mode, island mode, outpost mode. I'm not exact. Oh, so you have your tutorial up here. That's really cool. So when I use the new tools, uh, it opens up the scoreboard for your stuff. So you can kind of see that. That's a really good addition. I'm also losing hunger. Um, so I would really recommend looking into that. Now, there's nothing that shows this is a shop, but it did open the shop when I got here. Um, so I would really recommend maybe making it so you have, like, a sign that says shop or something. I'm guessing if I type slash shop, it would open... Oh, nope, this... Yeah, so it would open it in a GUI. So that's a little bit different. I'm guessing these are all your other shopkeepers. Nope, uh, this guy does nothing. Yeah, so that's my main suggestion. Make sure the NPCs or something has, um, like a, uh notification or like a sign that says where uh what they do and what they are i'm sorry if i'm misspeaking i'm very tired and i have to get 14 videos done today so clearly it's clearly been a long day so far um all right so i guess we'll type slack island to get started um island menu create an island home island upgrade uh create an island let's do birch theme stony theme swamp pirate theme you don't have permission oh i wanted to do power power uh pi power pirate um I guess we'll do Badlands creating island. Let's see how this goes. Don't exactly know what to pick, but I guess we'll go this one. Please wait for your island to be created. Um, I'm not sure why it's taking so long. Normally, this, this creation is pretty instant on other servers, so maybe look into your island creation time. I think that may work out pretty well, because I know a lot of people, if they... Um, if they're on a server, they won't really want to uh, wait that long and make it auto-teleport to the place. Now, these look like it's very custom islands with your uh, ships and everything. Very good move. Make sure everything looks unique and custom. I really like this. This is really cool. So, um, I'm not sure what these are doing. Uh, plus 4,000, plus 4,000 coins. I'm not exactly sure how those work, but... Um, this is a really cool island. So you got surrounded by water, which looks amazing. That's maybe time for the long loading time. Um, and it seems like this is really, really well built as well. So you got a lot of cool things. Uh, plus four times creeper spawner. I don't know where these holograms are coming from or what they mean. Uh, that would be something to look into because they're all throughout the ground and everything. Uh, so that would be looking into that I think would be a good idea. And then I guess this is just traditional sky block other than, uh, the few things that I have seen. Um, so you got like your, you get this ship, and I'm guessing you could destroy this ship if you wanted to, but this is like your spawn point. I kind of like how this is set up. But yeah, these holograms are my only main complaint so far. Um, also the boss bar at the top of your screen, I'm not sure if there's a way to toggle that or anything, but I would recommend um, get an option to get rid of that because sometimes it gets in the way. So I got a player guide. I could type slash help for a player guide. Uh, do IS, this opens your IS. Uh, fishing is an incredible way to get food and coins. That's pretty cool. So you can do, f f fishing is really important. Slash kit, uh, your boat is necessary to survive in the ocean. Um, 
so you have to craft your boat. So I'm guessing you could go around, get some standard tools, make an island or visit an island or outpost. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So just reading over that quickly, I can make a boat and go explore. Oh yeah, because you could go underwater and stuff. That's really cool. So keep that up. That's actually a really great idea. So what I like is it's more unique than your other Skyblock servers. Most Skyblock servers are in the sky. This is in the ocean. You got a really, really nice design here. You're open. You got everything open and you got the sea and everything. So keep that up. That's really, really good. Um, so just keep working on that because I think that will bring you a lot of success. My other thing is, is get more players on. Um, yes, it's an alpha. I understand that. But I would really recommend getting more players on because you don't want to be playing Skyblock alone because that's kind of sad. Um, so maybe people will bring their friends. But what I would recommend doing is watching our video on how to get more players, learning about competitions and stuff. Because that way you can get more people on and uh, maybe give away stuff that you get on the server or give away like PayPal prizes or something just to get those players on your server. Um, and then once those players are on your server, you can get them to uh, just continuously play and build your player count up. So I'm guessing if I go in the water, I can swim down and explore and everything. That's really cool. So I like how the island actually goes all the way down to the ground rather than being um, just there. It says I can't build in the water, so maybe... A suggestion would be maybe putting like different shipwrecks and stuff out in the water so I could actually go down and build stuff underwater because that would be something cool to see because um, I think that's a really really cool idea um, but that teleporting to your island when you create it stuff like that are just uh, quality of life changes really that should make it a little bit better for players to hop on and play on your server but overall it seems like you have this really well set up and um, I think you should just keep working on it and um, and I think that would be cool. Um, it seems like you have crates, but I don't exactly know where they are, so I'm not going to go into detail about that or anything, but just keep working on it. That's all I have to say. So thank you for inviting me on your server, and it looks really good. Just keep working on it, and then hopefully you have success with it in the future. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.